Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. <clears throat> My name is Ron. Well, the Diecast Mafia for the month of December, their challenge or invitational is to build a car or a vehicle of some sort for your birth year. I had a couple of options <clears throat> and I've had this little uh, Matchbox Lesney number 75 Ford Thunderbird laying around for quite a while and it is one of the early versions. It doesn't have the A, the B, the C or the B or C on it. So I believe this is the first generation of uh, the Thunderbird based on the dark blue base and the uh, detailing which really only consists of the tail lights and the two-tone paint. At one time this was white with the peach and right now it's kind of creamy colored, not very white, but uh, it's a little play worn. I've had it laying around for quite a while. Boy that just went nowhere. And this is going to be our project for this Diecast Mafia Challenge for December. So let's get this thing blown apart, see what the pieces and parts look like, and we'll see what we can do with this little guy. Everybody, please stay tuned. Well, we got our little Matchbox Lesney number 75 Ford Thunderbird. 1958, by the way, if anybody's keeping score of how old I am. Uh, two posts, drilled them and tapped them for 172 screws. Had to very carefully drill the crown off that rivet that held the glass on. But nice little casting, and it, it is tiny. If you compare that to this Maisto, it's not quite the same size. That Maisto is much bigger. And anyway, <clears throat> like I said, it's in really good shape. It's just really beaten up and uh, lots of paint. The paint's just barely hanging on. I can flake a lot of it off just with my finger. So, all right. We're going to get that in the cleaned up the glass it needs a good wash and a clean up tiny little crack at the top which was there I think from when they originally installed it but it's still in one piece which is a miracle for the age on this thing I don't remember now exactly I'll have to look that up to see how old this is <clears throat> the dark blue base metal base the back wheels were just held on by the body back here. They, so the axle on the back, it just resides in here and the wheels just are held on by the body. So that wasn't difficult. We did have to take the burr off the end of the front axle so we could get that on. There it is, number 75. Ford Thunderbird made in England by Lesney. All right, well, gonna clean up the wheels, clean up the axles, clean up the glass, and put everything else in the stripper. Let's go ahead and get this build going. Everybody, stay tuned.
All right, here's a quick look back at where we started. Matchbox Lesney, number 75, Ford Thunderbird. Let's go ahead and get to the reveal and see what I was able to accomplish with this little car. About a 1 to the 75 scale, scale I believe. All right, everybody, please stay tuned. And here is our completed matchbox by Lesney, number 75, Ford Thunderbird. This is, of course, a, I believe a 1, one to 75 scale uh, model. And uh, so it's very tiny, but uh, I had a lot of fun build, doing this one. It, uh, I picked it up and it's very play worn. And I always uh, just had it sitting on my bench and I uh, thought, when uh, the Diecast Mafia had their or announced their birth year build, I was born in 1958, and this is a 1958 Thunderbird, so it just follows that that's what it uh, what I would build. I tore it down, cleaned up the base. I painted painted that a uh, beautiful shade of sail blue, which is just about pretty close to the original blue that the base was. I think the original was a little bit darker. And the <clears throat> body, the casting, I painted with a duplicolor pearl white and then highlighted that with the uh, Krylon, I believe it's Krylon uh, Matte Sunrise for the accent. And then uh, after that, Shot it with a few coats of uh, clear. Uh, this was actually a duplicolor clear that I shot it with. And once I had that done, then I decided to detail out uh, just a little bit more than Matchbox uh, ever did. Uh, the grill, the front bumpers, the headlights, and the tail lights, and the uh, surrounds on the tail lights, as well as the rear bumper. But overall, I'm incredibly happy with this. I think it's a beautiful little casting, and uh, it's been on my to-do list for a long time, as, as I said. Well, thanks again to the Diecast Mafia for having this birth year build and giving me the opportunity to uh, restore this little Matchbox Lesney Thunderbird. Be sure you check out all the other builders that are participating in the birth year build. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you are not currently a subscriber, I hope you will. Be sure you ring the bell when you subscribe and share with your friends. Well, thank you to everyone that watches my videos and subscribes to my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. and. I will see you in the next.